wanted to walk through Contract Pod AI's data visualization tools in our Deep Sites dashboards. So what we've really created here are persona-driven dashboards so that we can surface that critical information needed for decision-making. So here in our Chief Legal Officer dashboard, we can see information around our company alongside those of our cohorts. One of the benefits of the multi-tenant SaaS product is that we can aggregate and anonymize that cohort data. So you can see how you compare to similarly sized organizations. So here we can see the breakdown of our contract status by, by, by that status, by department, even by user. So we can really see in how, how workloads are balanced as well as information on department usage and uh, in our organization and cohorts and the contract type usage because contract types tend to be pretty similar from organization to organization. We can see how we stack up against others as well as high risk contract analysis. So aggregating all that data from the contract risk and compliance tool and giving you that analysis of how risky our contracts are as in comparison to similar organizations. Really allowing us to benchmark how benchmark ours, our contracts and our contracting process. Additionally, we have a you know, board level dashboards available. We have a chief revenue officer dashboard available that will bring in that data from Salesforce or from your CRM of choice alongside the contracting data that we hold in contract pods. So we can see you know, in our sales funnel how our contracts are, are stacked up what average days and status do we have and, and that average time to value for people in our system, really allowing the sales leaders to see that contracting information alongside the data that they're familiar with from their CRM. Similarly, we have a CPO dashboard that shows the similar sort of view for that procurement officer. And then from that governance risk and compliance perspective, we can aggregate all that data that we are capturing from our contract risk and compliance tool into a broader picture. So we can see the breakdown of how risky our, our contracts are, um, what contract types are more risky or less risky. What, from that key clause standpoint, how often are those clauses found and how risky are those clauses? So then we can know that maybe, you know what, maybe we're negotiating down to a riskier position, but that lets us identify that trend and then maybe reevaluate our negotiation positions going forward. And then in our contract efficiency tool dashboard, we have here that aggregated view of the time that we're spending in our workflow stages. And this is where we can really highlight the configurability of our workflows tying into giving visibility in this, in this sort of space so that we can say, you know, maybe legal is getting blamed for a lot of delays in the contracting process. We can build those workflows to say, listen, we're spending more time in external review or we're more, spending more time awaiting signature. And we can sit and, and giving that visibility into where those hangups actually are. Similarly, we can show average duration of contracting by department or by party. So this is where we can sit, say, you know what, you know, maybe party A takes twice as long to get to signature as everybody else, even combined. And so maybe we need to reevaluate our relationship with that party. And so we we're really starting to collect the data to drive these strategic decisions rather than just anecdotes. And then the breakdown of, of you know, where lengthy um, contracts are coming from worldwide as well. Those are some examples of how we are really starting to visualize data and aggregate data from multiple sources in one place to really drive the analytics and decision-making from that standpoint. Thank you.